so i've been looking at gauteng in that regard of you know what i have everything that i need this reminds me of the book the alchemist you know what i got from it reading it years back is that this guy actually came back to the same place where he was at and he found what he needed obviously the journey helped him build character so with that being said you know i'm thinking to myself i'm like wow actually what i need is not in cape town yes in terms of the startups it is there but the foundation that i need to build is in gauteng with the right people you know instead of delaying the gratification which i will do yes but it's moving intelligently in society you know i should really work on my social intelligence because at the end of the day i guess it's not just about the money but i guess in order to get to the money it's like just focus on value you know just focus on community just focus on the social society you know just focus on yeah being economical i don't need to go to the u.s yet i don't need to go to cape town yet what I need to do is get to Gauteng, establish myself as a professional, move accordingly, run the projects, create traction, get investments, travel, you know, travel, obviously, you know, but be based in Gauteng. And then when I get to a specific point in time and I feel like, okay, now Cape Town is a necessity in terms of establishing myself, then it's best that way. Because, hey, one thing that I've noticed is, you know, I guess in Cape Town, I was chasing a specific lifestyle. And I, to a certain degree, it's far from necessity. I was definitely going to get distracted. But right now, it's like, yeah, I've just noticed that, yo, chasing lifestyle and status for now just is an unnecessary pressure. The thing that I need to focus on right now is building these platforms providing this value because i might just die <laughs> anytime soon so i'm trying to open up these open source projects and really get the ball rolling and then really focus on my education and really you know move from fashion to a more economical stance in terms of providing value yeah the riches are gonna come definitely forbes 30 under 30 without a doubt but the approach needs to be correct because a hey, yeah, like they say, <laughs> youth is wasted on the foolish or something like that. But youth and foolishness goes like this. So I'm trying to shed that out of the way. And I've been at the gym lately. Second day at the gym after like two months of breaking. Prior to that, I was even falling sick. So it's like, yo, plus minus a month's worth out of the gym. Prior to that. So yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching the video. Mm -hmm. and make sure to have a good day hopefully this helps whoever is wondering concerning get it how you live and yeah to sum it up choose the lifestyle that you want to live you know consider the lifestyle currently yo know, you know that you're living the circumstance that you've given you know it's almost like the hustle requirements but yes then make sure that whatever lifestyle that you live the people that you're around make sense for the mission not just only in terms of benefiting the business but developing character because i really believe that these things are intertwined so with that being said yeah your character affects the value that you're gonna give or how you're gonna conduct business and run it and the mindset that you add it reflects <laughs> you know hey i've ran a business while being hungry and it reflected you know what i'm saying i became a little little savage you feel me but I, when i look at it it ain't worth it <laughs> i need to i need to provide this value even if it's 10 years down the line people are like all right cool yeah the shit bangs and i'm not i know okay cool you know what i did well you feel me? <laughs> it is just a matter of my foresight not being on time, but definitely my suspicions were right. And thank you. Enjoy your day.